Hey folks, it's Gavin Syme here with Syme Effects, and today let's jump into Lightroom and look at presets, how to install them, manage them, back them up, all that kind of stuff. Presets are all through Lightroom, particularly with develop settings, but they're all over the place and they're really, really useful and pretty easy to manage. So let's go over it just a little bit. First, I'm gonna pop into the develop module right here in Lightroom. And if you look up in the upper left panel, there's the presets tab and you can expand and collapse it, all that good stuff. Now, what we have by default is the default Lightroom presets that come in Lightroom and user presets. So the default presets are just what's there. Now, some people like them, some people hate them. I myself don't use them much. I have other presets that I use. There's really not a practical way to get rid of them. If you delete, they just come back. Now you can actually go in and modify the code base. If you look around online, there's some tutorials and it's not terribly hard to take it out of there to like dig in to the actual package that Lightroom is in, not the code so much as, as digging way deep down inside there and deleting them. The bad thing is that they're gonna come back next time you update Lightroom. So usually I just kind of leave them there and just don't worry about it. Now user presets, this is kind of the default way to import presets. If you were to click on user presets, you could click import, all right? And it would bring them in and you could select group of presets and import them. The problem is it will put them all under user presets. So you would have total pandemonium in no time. I mean, this is what happens with people that have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of presets in one user presets folder and it's chaos. We don't want that. So we're gonna look at the better way to do it. Let's go to Lightroom and preferences. And right here in preferences, here's my tabs. I'm gonna bring up the presets tab. And here's what we're looking for right down here. Now real quick on this store presets with catalog checkbox. Most people are gonna wanna leave that unchecked. If you check that, what's gonna happen is any presets that you make or import, it's gonna only store with that catalog. Now personally, I have all kinds of different catalogs for different projects. That's how I manage things. I like the way I can back up that way, kinda keep things modular and organized. So I have this one separate catalogs. If I were to click that, when I open another catalog, the presets I had just installed would no longer be there. Okay, this is only good if you want to have the presets only with your one catalog. For most people, that's not what you're gonna want. Okay, moving on, how do we actually install presets the cool way? Right here is the Show Lightroom Presets folder button. Okay, I'm gonna click this, and it's gonna pop open a Finder window, or in the case of Windows, an Explorer window, all right? And let me just hide Lightroom. All right, so what do we have here? We have all the presets in Lightroom. So this is everything from export presets, develop presets, local adjustments presets, everything. Now let's look at develop presets in particular to start with. Okay, so here's the develop presets and we see here are those user presets, just the generic folder. That's where they would go if I use that default method. Now I have some Lightroom presets on my desktop and these are in folders. Now what you can do, the cool thing is that in a presets folder, doing it this way, you can make a new folder and it'll show up in Lightroom. Or in my case, I can paste in a new folder. I have Power Workflow, Color Fantasy, Silver Shadows, some of my preset collections here. But there's all kinds of presets inside these. So I don't want these all in my user presets folder. I want that order. I'm just gonna take all these folders, copy them, and I'm gonna go to Develop Presets and paste into Develop Presets. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to Lightroom and there's nothing there. Of course there's not. We gotta quit Lightroom, and then we just gotta restart it. Uh, wait for it. And as soon as that comes up, all our presets we just installed in this folder will be in there. Okay, now we got them all here and they're separate little folders. We can expand the folders, do whatever we need to right from here, okay? Very simple, nice, easy, and organized. All right, now you probably already know how to use presets and we can get into that in another video because this is about managing presets. So you've got the presets imported, but what else can we do? First of all, you have presets all through Lightroom. For example, if I hit the K key and bring up the local adjustments brush. And if we go up here with this, we can actually select presets. We can save presets in here. Well, the same thing goes for that. We can manage those in the same way. Right here is local adjustment presets and there's all those presets. So if we download new presets, whatever we want, as long as you put them into the right folder, you know, adjustment presets in the right folder, develop presets in the right folder, export presets in the right folder. Lightroom's gonna be looking in that folder for its presets. But other than that, you can put in whatever you want. And particularly with develop presets, you can make those separate folders so you can stay organized. But there's one more cool thing. 
now that we're in this folder that we got to by clicking that button in preferences, we could just select all of these, all right, copy, and we can make a folder and just boom, paste these into that folder, all right? Now we can burn this to a disk, put it on a Dropbox, do whatever we need to do, and we've backed up all the presets. I get emails from people all the time that have bought one of my preset collections and then their computer crashed and they lost them and they need a fresh download. And that's fine, I totally do that for them, but you, you'll save yourself a lot of headache if you just back this up. Not only that, you can take all these folders, copy them to say your laptop or something like that and have the exact same setup over there. Maybe your desktop is where most of your management is done from. You can just take all this stuff, put it on another machine, and you've got everything exactly where you expect it to be. All managed, all nice, all tidy. So all these presets throughout Lightroom, exporting presets, develop presets, metadata presets, all this different stuff you can do, it can all be managed from right there. Just pop right up to here, go to your preferences, and click that button to bring up the folder, and then just back them up or move them around or whatever you need to do, import new ones, and it can all be done from right there. So that is a few tips on working with managing, importing, and backing up Lightroom presets. Hope you found it useful. Catch you later.